Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like any type of cleaning, organizational videos, lifestyle videos, mom stuff, kid stuff, and of course Disney stuff, please go ahead and subscribe so that I can update you every time I have a new video to share. And don't forget to hit that bell up top as well so that you can be notified. So today I am sharing another um, messy house tour. Have a lot of those lately, I feel like. <laughs> but um, if you guys have been following me for a while now, I know I've been doing more vlogs lately. I've been kind of experimenting with vlogging because we've been doing a lot of family weekend getaways and things like that. and. I've kind of gotten out of the whole cleaning and organizing thing, um, which is very unfortunate because my house is really paying the price for it. And I thought that I would just kind of get back on board with that. I enjoy doing the vlogging and I obviously enjoy doing the traveling, especially this time of year because it's just like doom and gloom. It's gray out, it's either raining or snowing and you know, it's just not a good time of year for me at all. So I'm trying to pull myself out of it, get the house back in shape, and I thought I would just uh, show you guys around a little bit and let you see the mess that we are currently dealing with. Okay, so we'll start with my bedroom. I have to clean up my desk area a little bit here, um, obviously make my bed still, and tidy up a little bit. Um, you know, my dresser, and it's really not too, too bad. So let's move on to the rest of the house. Just some minor stuff in here. Um, it is the beginning of the week, and we just got back from uh, another weekend getaway, so I have some unpacking of bags to do here. Um, I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're a mom, and you're the one responsible for unpacking everyone's things every time you travel, <laughs> Let me know because my kids stuff will sit forever if I don't take care of it and my husband's stuff as well. All right, so here's Miss Madison's room and she had a play date the day that we were leaving for our trip. So we kind of just left everything because we were in a big rush to go. So her room needs some tidying up. I'm not even going to show you the teenagers rooms because they're going to take care of that. And we'll go down the hallway here into our bathroom. Um, I need to just tidy up and wipe down things in here. I have some clothes that need to be put away over here and then my daughter's bath toys still need to be put away. We have socks on the floor and I was hesitant to show you guys this but I'm gonna show you. This is where I keep the laundry. Okay, and there's usually two baskets, very small baskets. One on this side for darks, one on this side for lights. <laughs> But right now, you can see everybody just kept shoving stuff in there. So I need to, first thing, get the laundry going. And then, here's the laundry room. I need to put away some of these boxes. I need to send out this thread up bag. And as we're headed downstairs, you will see there's still lots of Valentine stuff out. I was debating whether or not I should pack that all away today, but I am thinking that um, I'm gonna leave the Valentine's Day stuff out until the end of February. I kind of like to give my holidays a whole month, so like the month of February will be Valentine's Day, and I am kind of good with that right now because I have enough on my plate today with tidying up and cleaning up a little bit. Okay, the usual morning living room situation. The dog is always in here in the morning with the kids and they kind of like relax and hang out. So the pillows are all over the place. Um, I need to pick up a lot of Leo's bones and toys that he kind of <laughs> puts everywhere. There are still my husband's Valentine gifts over here. Oh, there goes a bone. Um, yeah, that will stay there forever if I don't put it away. I usually like try to give him a week, sometimes two. <laughs> depending on my mood and if I could deal with looking at it, but it, it will be there for a long time. So I'm gonna find a place for that. Alrighty, so the dining room. The table has collected lots of stuff. The kids were using the crayons. There is mail to be put away. Valentine stuff um, still all over the place. My Mickey Monthly came today. I'm so excited. And if you could see, there's a couple of 
green confetti Mickey head. So I'm wondering if there's going to be some kind of St. Patrick's things in there. So I'm excited to hopefully have time to do that unboxing today so that I could share that with you guys really soon. And then into the kitchen. I actually put the dog outside so that he's not driving me crazy in here. The kitchen actually isn't as bad as it could be. <laughs> a couple of things to put away. Um, I have a full dishwasher here that needs to be unloaded and um, that's it. Maybe just wipe down the counters and whatnot. So if you guys have watched previous um, messy house tours, this one is not the worst of them, but I still have a lot of stuff to do. So let's get started. I am going to first thing, get the laundry going. And then I have this to contend with. A nice, muddy dog. I can't win. I already uh, dried him off a bit, but I'll show you guys a couple of pictures of what he looks like when he comes in from a rainy, ah, muddy day. Oh my gosh. Leo, the kitchen floor is always a mess with this dog. Look at this. Leo, you just gave me more work to do. You just gave me more work to do. You're a muddy mess.
Okay, so we are moving right along here. I um, finished cleaning up the entire downstairs. The dog set me back a little bit with his muddy mess, but that's just been like an ongoing thing this whole winter. I don't really have like a good place for him to go and dry off before he comes directly into the house, into the kitchen. So our hardwood floors in the kitchen have really been a mess. Like we have a small mud room um, that he goes in first and I just kind of try to dry off his paws but he can't stay in there because he'll eat all the shoes. So it's quite the dilemma lately. So now all I have to do is clean the bathroom. I have a few things that I need to put away. I kind of cleaned out the rooms and categorized things and put them in the appropriate people's rooms and they can put it away themselves. I have a few of my own things to put away, but aside from that, we are moving right along and I feel really, really better about the condition of the house. So I'm gonna, Keep the laundry going all day. As you saw, I have a ton of that to still do, but I just uh, moved a load into the dryer. Gonna get another one going in the wash, and I'm gonna wipe down the bathroom, and then I will be done. So let's finish up. So I am officially done. It took me about two hours, but I feel so much better about things. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy these types of kind of like cleaning, organizing, inspirational videos, please give this a thumbs up. Um, I know there is still a lot to be done in this house. I know we have a lot of clutter and I am trying to work through that, I am constantly donating and giving things away, especially in my youngest daughter Madison's room and playroom. So I do recognize that. And if you see all of the overabundance of stuff that she has going on, I do know it. I am trying to tackle it. It's very hard with little ones because they don't wanna let go of things. And she does recognize when I get rid of things. So that's been a little bit of a challenge, but we're gonna get through it and I feel a lot better about the house. I think everything is just neat and tidy and um, now my reward <laughs> for working hard all morning is I am going to do my Mickey monthly unboxing. So I'm so excited and um, that video will be also coming up soon and I have a giveaway with it as well. I've been doing giveaways with my Mickey monthly unboxings lately. So um, check that out if you're into that kind of stuff. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram, and I hope you guys all have a great week. Take care. Bye.